touching with mindfulness and what was it? I don't remember what I said. It was good though. Yeah. So touching mindfully is the topic for this video. And Kathy Bartuli, why is it important to touch people mindfully? A lot of us, when we're first dating someone and touching them, we might get a really good response from a certain touch and we're nervous and we're not really certain. So our brain locks in on, oh, if I touch him like this, he moans or, okay, that's the only way I touch him. And we get locked into certain patterns. Mm -hmm. We start taking it for granted that this is how we, we go to bed, we do this, this, and this, and that's what we so do. So you have a routine for how you touch There's people. There's a routine. And you're not really aware of that other person. And your touch is not live. This is Kathy Vartuli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. And Reed Mahako from ReadAboutSex.com. And we're here to talk about touching with presence. That was it. Presence, yes. yes. But yes. mindfulness works too. Yes. So if you're... We just did some videos on reigniting passion. And this can reignite passion. Mm -hmm. If you're, you have expectations about how you should touch or how you should be touched and how your body should respond, you're not giving yourself room to be in a different mood or your partner to be in a different mm -hmm. mood or um, you grow over time. People evolve. So something I really liked 10 years ago, I might not and really enjoy now. Mm -hmm. So by being curious when you, when you touch each other and trying different things and letting the person respond as they are, that gives a lot of room for play and really exciting response. It's a lot more interesting too to be touched in a lot of different ways rather than the same one each time. Yeah, and I think for me as kind of a touch geek, um, and I certainly get into my ruts as well, but there's a difference between that go-to thing that your partner just loves yeah. always, like 99% of the time, and then this idea of you, you and your partner have the experience of you exploring them anew. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a really beautiful experience. And the idea for me is it's about listening and checking in and asking your partner, you know, n not the question of, is this okay? Because, meh, meh, yeah, it's okay. That doesn't really give you any, any yeah. information. Um, but the idea of, do you like this? What would you like more? Yeah. Would you like more pressure or less pressure? Would you like me to go slower or faster? Would you like me to use, you know, my fingers or my fingernails or my whole hand? I love when someone asks, how does this make you feel? Because that tunes me in. So like it might be a sensation and a lot of different sensations can feel amazing, especially if you're tuned in. Mm -hmm. So if you say, how does this make you feel? They're automatically tuning in a little deeper, I think. Yeah, and, and a lot of people, because we the culture that we live in, right? Like, I, I helped create Cuddle Party, and we live in a culture that barely touches to begin with. Kids aren't allowed to hug each other in some school systems now. Um, teachers and parents certainly are not, you know, some of them are not touching kids intentionally because they don't want to get into trouble. Right. Um, so we live in a very low-touch society, which isn't good, especially for the huggy-touchy people. Uh, but touch is an actual human need mm -hmm. and there's a medical term called skin hunger yeah. of you know what happens to us psychologically when we're touch deprived it's, it's why solitary confinement so in cool. prison systems is so cruel because we're basically monkeys that wear shoes as Tim Mitchin says um, so this idea of discovering not only becoming more touch positive but creating for you and your partners this idea of touch is a way of being present mm -hmm. and exploring each other. Like touch is an, touch is an adventure. Yes. Welcome to Touchland, Adventureland. <laughs> like making it fun and knowing that in the beginning you guys might be a little bit cl clumsy, mm -hmm. might be a little clunky. You might be like you try this thing and your partner's like, no, that was horrible. Let's never do that again. Yeah. And reframe that mm -hmm. as you just figured out a like the opposite of a go-to. It's, it's, the, it's the get away from. Just never do that again. Yeah. That was like the time you did that. Don't ever yeah. do that. This was a great example of a horrible thing to do to me. So just let's leave the fork out of it ever. No more. <laughs> so that really can help reignite passion when you make it an adventure that you're going on together and you're communicating back and forth. And, and the, the, the symbolism underneath it all around touch, especially for the people who touch is a, a love language of theirs, yeah. where they need it to feel cared for, or they, you know, that's how they show their caring. Um, but for those of us who need it, and even I, I would hazard a guess for those of us who don't, if you're touching people in ways that they want to be touched, 
the underlying meaning and the symbolism is you're you're a good person. Yeah. Like I want to touch you. There's something affirming in that. Yeah, you don't generally want to walk up to someone who's horrible and hug up them. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's just weird. Don't do that. Ask permission first. Get a verbal yes. Cuddle party rules. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so touching someone affirms that you care about them mm -hmm. and there's a closeness. So. And for those of us, you know, who are again like you know the sex geeks and the touch geeks in the room, uh, sustained welcomed contact. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are, but let's say like you know welcome touch for more than five minutes like sustained hugs cuddling a, sh a welcomed shoulder rub or maybe even just a little scritching if your partner loves scritching um, those things after a few minutes your body naturally starts releasing oxytocin mm -hmm. which lowers your blood pressure creates uh, and, and engenders feelings of intimacy and bonding like this is all good stuff yes so the more mindful that you can do this, the more all that good stuff gets to ripple through your relationships. Yeah. We'd love to hear how it works for you. Please leave comments below. And subscribe to this channel if you want more like this. <laughs>